Hello and welcome back to the show. In today's episode of My Race Report, I will be showing you my 1000 GPRO race, season 80, race 12, at Brasilia. Let's go! First it's time for some backstory, but we will be back later for, for some uh, track data. But first the backstory. In the season 79 I was uh, in my second season back in uh, Master and I had a driver uh, that if I was training him he, he, uh, he would already be in his last contract season but I spotted the opportunity that if I didn't train him for a period of 23 races I could manage another contract extension which meant I didn't need to spend any money on any driver training like fitness so that saved me about 12 million 11 million in the end in total that meant that the budget that I wasn't using for driver training and testing I could spend on tires so I could afford the contis to retain in master as you can see I did the next season, obviously, we need a, a different plan. With six races left in the season, yeah, so you, you wait six races, do the contract extension, and then you need to push. Yeah, you can't push uh, and test and train on Yoko's without any sponsor income for, for a lot of races. Yeah, the final contract extension has been done. Uh, successfully and I have uh, started uh, doing some driver trainings uh, and of course some testings. Uh, meanwhile I have scored also two points in race 7. I doubt it will be enough to retain uh, at the moment so we are pushing for points in this episode so let's get going back to the track analyze. Here at Brasilia we, we are looking at the power handling and acceleration. Uh, yeah, you can clearly see it's a power and handling track. It shouldn't be that hard to match the, the car for this track. But also uh, strategy wise we need to consider that uh, this track is hard overtaking. So it could be advantageous to go for the slightly slower strategy with less stops due to the amount of blocking and the fact that I will be starting at r around 20th place so there might be some blocking uh, yeah also the pit in and out is only 13 and a half seconds so that's a short pit uh, in and out for this game yeah but we will be back with the strategy at the later moment but first it's time for the weather yeah the weather is looking uh, like a normal dry race i guess two stops at this point uh, with a slightly hotter q1 which should be in my advantage for my yokos and yeah let's see what what we can do in this race hoping for some points not expecting anything big like a podium or something like that a few points, P7, P8 would be nice uh, um, for now. Today's video is sponsored by... Oh wait, I don't have any sponsors. Subscribe now. For this race, I will be needing some new parts in order to finish the race without smoking or anything crazy. Um, yeah, a new chassis level 7 and a uh, new engine level 7. I will be doing those. Might be a little bit high, but I like the high parts. Uh, yeah, also need a new uh, underbody. Uh, downgraded at last race to level 5, so I will be buying a new level 6. Uh, the gearbox, I will be downgrading it uh, to level 5. Because I have discovered if I don't test uh, this race, the gearbox will last for one more race, so let's do it. And a new level 7 brakes as well. Checking everything now. Uh, it looks uh, okay and confirm it. So let's get going to the race strategy next. Race strategy time. Yeah, uh, my uh, Yokos are able to do three stops with extra soft or two stops for soft. Uh, the three stops option is slightly faster, but if you are considering the blocking from uh, the baddies who are able to do extra soft for two stops, it might be better for me with my Yokos to uh, opt for the soft two stop option. 
might be sl slightly slower, but overall it could be a better result. Uh, the Dunlops are also doing a similar strategy to the Yokos with uh, three stops for extra soft and soft two stops. So I think uh, I will be going for two stops uh, with soft, betting at lap 19 and lap 38. So let's get going to qualifying! Qualifying has uh, finished now, so let's uh, go through the results for Q1. Uh, I pushed the car to the limit. Uh, yeah, not so happy with the lap time. It's basically the same lap time as I managed in practice, so it uh, could have been faster. Yeah, Q1, 23rd position. For Q2, I have decided to go for slightly less risk in qualifying. Uh, yeah, mainly because in the last few races the Q2 time wasn't that amazing. So in the end it's a 28th position in Q2, which makes a 25th starting position for this race. Let's go to the race highlights now so we can see what we can do with this race starting from 25th position. Can we score some points? I don't know, let's go! The five lights are on and they are off! Let's go racing! We are starting 25th, um, yeah, the goal would be to get some points, but uh, not sure if it's uh, even possible. I already gained the place, so lovely, but uh, if, if points are even realistic this race, we need to gain lots of places on rather quickly, if it's possible. 23rd now, can we, can we make a dive on the outside? Lovely. Can we gain another place? Yes, we can, yes we can. 21st, already gained 4 places on the first lap, ooh, we lost one, can we, can, can we come back on the main straight? Uh, yeah, we can, 20th place, yeah, one car has splitted with some uh, damage, I believe, so, um, yeah, 20th place, gained 5 positions on the first lap, yeah, we are now in the train, as you can see, from P10 towards P21, uh, P9 and uh, those in front are pulling away already, yeah, we, if, if I have the pace, we need to clear the train as quickly as possible. It's uh, lap 4 now, as you can see we are still uh, stuck in the train, uh, trying to overtake and uh, trying to block a car behind us. Oh, lovely, we just overtook a car, can we get another one this lap? Yes, yes, we have done it, we have overtaken two, two cars in lap 4, you now it's lap 5, uh, can we overtake some more? Yeah, as you can see some uh, cars uh, slightly ahead are uh, breaking away. Oh, yes, yes, we got another place now into 70 positions. Hopefully we can get uh, the next car as well. So we are hopefully in some free air and we can uh, break away from this group of cars and try to close the gap to the points if I can. Lap 7 of the race now, uh, still in 17th position, uh, in a train of some cars trying to overtake and trying to uh, block the cars behind. Oh, no, just been overtaken, lost a position, back down to 18th. Yeah, hopefully we don't lose any more positions, uh, we haven't been able to clear the train and lost another position, 19th position now. So far it hasn't been the most amazing lap. Uh, looks like we are being stuck in the middle of the train. Yeah, not being amazing. Oh, no, losing another position. Just lost three positions in one lap. Not amazing. But let's see what we can do. Lap 10 of the race now. Uh, we are still in 20th position at the moment. Uh, yes, overtaking a car. Lovely. But I, yeah, also losing a position by the looks of it. So still in 20th position. We'll be back at the pit stop, I guess. Uh, points are off the table, they won't happen this race. Uh, it will be a big fight for P17 or something like that. Uh, lap 14 now, uh, still in 20th position. Uh, trying to overtake the car in front. Uh, pulling out of the slipstream, having a look, but not making the pass. Can we do it now? Yes, lovely, in 8th position and the car has retired or something, someone has uh, gone off. Now in 18th position and the car behind is having a driver mistake. He lost some possessions and now we have a nice and lovely gap behind and hopefully we can pull away just before the pit stop and stay ahead of the cars behind me. Lap 17 now, uh, still in 
18th position. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, managed to uh, pull away from the cars behind, but this is also due some boosting laps just before the pit stop that have uh, been activated now. Uh, yeah, should be pitting next lap. Oh, wait, what's that? Pitting already at lap 18. Hmm. That wasn't planned. Uh, I believe I had planned to pit at lap uh, 19. Uh, yeah. So I guess my strategy won't work as I don't think any of my other stands are overfueled to do an extra lap. So that should mean uh, I should be pitting at uh, lap 54 as well. So yeah, no 32nd position. Uh, uh, all other cars that have uh, planned to pit at the uh, Lap 19 and now uh, pitting as well, so let's see where we come back on track uh, when we have passed them if we can. Uh, 24th position, uh, still in front of the car that was behind us, but points aren't possible this race. And the extra pit stop might cost us some time, but I doubt it will really matter in the end result. Maybe a few places here and there. The time for the second pit stop now, uh, just about uh, in a few corners, uh, currently in 16th position. Uh, yeah, basically since the first pit stop, uh, all other cars that uh, still needed to pit have pitted, that we have been in clear air the whole time. Uh, yeah, not really anything to show, just from the car going round uh, lonely on track. Uh, yeah, now pitting a lap 37, uh, originally uh, lap 38 was planned, so still one lap short on the strategy, which still means I'm pitting at lap 54. Lap 53 now, it's uh, time for the extra pit stop uh, in, in a few corners. Uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, still in 17th position after the second pit stop. Uh, also, nothing has really happened to me in this race, uh, being alone on track. Also. I have uh, noticed that uh, I have uh, slowed down a little bit. Uh, I believe it's uh, due to the fact that my driver is out of energy currently, so my uh, risk was slightly too high for this race as well. Um, yeah, haven't been lapped yet, but I'm just uh, about to be lapped, uh, I believe. So the winner will be going over the finish line before I exit the, the line, I believe. There we have it, the winner is done and we are still need to do a lap, or just about lapped, uh, one of two. Yeah, come out, came out of the pins in 21st position, but I am out of energy, I might lose uh, two places to, to those uh, cars behind me. They are g closing the gap quickly, which means I am, I am definitely out of energy. Yeah. They are just about on Matteo now and there they overtake on the last raid just before the finish and it's finishing in 23rd position. Let's do some race analysis and talk about the race. Yeah, as you can see we started 25th, uh, gained a few positions early on, uh, boosted at lap 2 and uh, boosted at lap 16, which meant I did two boost sets in the first stint where I hadn't fueled for, so that is why the first stint was a lap short and basically uh, ran uh, the whole race in P18, P17 uh, alone by myself. As you can see here in the last few laps, the lap time uh, slowed down, which is an indicator that the energy was out. Uh, yeah, pitted at lap 54 and then uh, started the race with 100% energy and ended it with zero. Started 25th, finished 23rd, basically it, it could have been a P17 or something like that, uh, but still no points uh, for the table. Uh, still in 25th position overall, just above the relegation zone. Uh, yeah, if you liked the video, please uh, like and subscribe, uh, it will help and uh, give me some feedback on the comments if possible. And thank you for watching, see you next time, goodbye.